Hello and welcome back. We are here playing the Roman Republic as part of our Atheist Papal States run. Uh, last episode, of course, we became the Roman Republic and we made some moves, we made some shakes, and he, we are doing pretty well. In particular, we have prioritized getting some gold states from uh, North and West Borneo and also getting some gold and coal from South Africa. These states are really strong. Uh, this is what we've done. We also did Parliamentary Republic. We had a really awkward revolution uh, last game. We are just barely contested, so I think we might just lower taxes here. Uh, so we get in the next bracket. Uh, we have a little bit of construction coming in, but we'll build into this and this will be fine. The industrialists are super caked up after the rev. We do want the landowners to come back online, but not quite yet. What we really, really want to do is we want to get an agitator so we can pass state atheism. This is the whole purpose of us switching to a parliamentary republic. Now we are eligible to go state atheism. And once we go state atheism, then we will look to swap back to theocracy so we can be the atheist papal states. This is the goal of the run, the first goal. And the second goal, uh, we will start progressing to into today, which is going to be becoming the Holy Roman Emperor, except uh, as Voltaire suggests, we're not going to be Roman, so we're going to get off this Roman business. We got to return to theocracy, and we're not going to be holy because we're going to be atheists. And then we're also going to look to, you know, have all the tiny little states in the Holy Roman Empire in our empire. So that's going to be the goal. Uh, we are going to put down this revolution here really quick, and then we're going to take a look at the German states. A hungry look, a hangry look, if you will. So just minding our own business, looking to rein in the northern portion of the Holy Roman Empire, going after Mecklenburg, and of course Russia decides to be annoying again. They join against us here. Um, we're going to put war reps in, and we are going to just try and defend uh, in terms of landing. So we're going to mobilize extra guys specifically on the capital, because we know that they're going to kind of go after the capital, and I think we can defend against landings from them. I think we can land and enforce on Mecklenburg, and then I think we can land on Alaska and in force war reparations on Russia, which is going to be super nice if we can do that, um, because, you know, we like free money. And so hopefully that'll be the way things shake out. Hopefully we don't get riggedy riggedy wrecked. Uh, but of course we won't because we're Roman and like we never get wrecked. We just throw men and troops at the problem. So a little slow going in this war. It is a little bit tough, but we do unlock egalitarianism. We're about to finish free trade, which is going to be nice. We'll be going on to proportional taxation next, uh, which should allow us to really crank up construction, maybe going to 150-ish, this type of thing. Uh, currently having trouble landing, getting in, and then being able to push against these guys. Russia is contributing people to this war, unlike the war where they were supporting us last episode, where they contributed no, 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 nothing. Uh, and so it, we are having a bit of difficulty full occupying them uh we might have to triple land them uh with three different battalions you know recruit another general after the italy hq if this current landing this isn't what uh works because we're right now we're double landing the five and the six here uh the five and the six here and right now it's not working because they are able to resist the push from the five or the six so what we'll do is we'll recruit a third italian general uh out of the italy hq we'll add some more troops because we've been defending against russian landing attacks uh, attempts uh pretty successfully we'll recruit a few more guys we'll recruit another general and then we'll try and do it that way we'll see how this shakes out if we can get it done and uh while we're at it why don't we look and see if we have a positivist available uh you know anyone who will help pass state atheism we have been looking for these. Nope, it's just a bunch of these radical boyos. Classic European uh, agitator business. Just all radicals that have been exiled from everywhere because everywhere hates them. Uh, I suppose there's one other thing we could look at, which is if we want to exile our own guys who are specifically moderate. So this intelligentsia, we can exile this intelligentsia moderate and he will develop a new ideology. So why don't we come in here and we exile this guy, uh, the exile this dissident. Now he becomes a radical. Well, boo. Uh, but we can roll a positivist. Nope, we roll a protectionist. Uh, which is actually unfortunate because I think they don't like free trade, do they? Uh, so that's going to make passing free trade just a little bit harder because now the intelligentsia d -d -d don't like it. Uh, so shooting ourselves in the foot. Classic Roman action. Uh, but we should be able to swing this war out. We'll see. It's going to be taking a bit longer than expected, though, at the very least. Alright, we land and we get the full occupation on them. And they are just about ready to uh, be in forced on so this is going to be big nice let's double check and so something we have to keep in mind is since russia has no war reps on us we can be or no uh war goals on us and we can be decayed so the next step is landing alaska now why alaska 
The reason we land Alaska is because they're almost never defending it with boats, and we should be able to get a decent push in here and uh, enforce on them, hopefully, before we get decayed below zero, since we will be having the war goal, since all you need to do is take some dirt in order to get war reps. So we enforce on Mecklenburg, and while it is possible to us for us to decay Russia below zero, we're only getting 0.97 uh, decay. Uh, they are barely occupied. We do control 50% of the war goals. Not sure why this isn't 100, but they've taken basically no casualties, so they're getting very little decay. Whereas we, on the other hand, uh, are decaying quite a bit because of the casualties, you know, relative to what's going on. Uh, so it seems unlikely uh, that we'll be able to enforce on them, but maybe if we we can decay them below zero uh they'll accept even though we are more negative than them we are pushing specifically in alaska uh i would love to see you know how willing they are to accept but of course uh we have you know a current white peace deal proposal which completely bricks our ability to take a look uh they will take white peace they are really not into this uh, mainly because russian war reparations is part of the deal but we'll see if we can get them uh, just it's going to take f over 50 ticks for us to get them negative, and we're going to be... What is this? We're going to be like minus 30, minus 60, 70. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do this. I think we I think we just white piece them here, and uh, they'll be more than happy to piece us out. Uh, a little bit unfortunate. Maybe we should have landed Russia very first, and then looked to enforce on Mecklenburg. This probably would have been the way if we were trying specifically really to get the war reps, uh, because Mecklenburg can't decay us below zero unless we get landed, and we were defending the Russian landings just fine with our boyo here. Um, but yeah, we will continue on looking to unify, of course, the Roman, but still holy. Yeah, so right now it is holy and Roman. Yeah, we're Roman. We're Roman. And, and... We're currently holy, so not really much of an empire, but, you know, we're looking to become the unholy, un-Roman empire. So, we'll start progressing more towards that conquest in northern Germany here. So we decided to wait and chill and let our infamy decay quite a bit. And after this decays down very close to zero, we'll go for the oldest uh, Holy Roman Emperor, Empire, uh, you know, person in the book, uh, which is the Netherlands. We'll try and dominion them, which will give us uh, overlordship over their dominion as well, uh, which will be big nice for our income. And so we're just sitting and chilling. A big part of this is almost every single one of these, either Prussia or Austria wanted to join in on us, and we are not in good shape to do that, but we are coming up. We've been adding construction, we've been making moves money moves that is and we are soon gonna like kind of break through a little bit of a threshold uh especially once we hit proportional taxation which we are on the voting phase of now if we get this we'll be able to absolutely blast construction into space looks like we're not going to get it on this tick uh we have gotten the philanthropy p1 already i think we're just going to take the plus one standard of living and minus a minimum um just to kind of help bolster us in terms of loyalist and this sort of thing we're already at 50 percent there's not much opposition to the law i think we're in good shape and in good shape to maybe hit like 200 uh 200 is probably optimistic but like 150 construction by the end of this episode all right, so we passed proportional taxation. We, of course, are now cranking up the money, and we offered two Sicilies an obligation in order to join the customs union. Unfortunately, the Netherlands, actually, in the time while we were waiting to decay down, uh, they actually became a major power again, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. I think that once we start fighting them, they would, all, like, immediately demote uh, or this type of thing, and so it is a bit unfortunate. We can maybe become a great power, but this isn't going to allow us to dominion them, actually we are decreasing in power rank big yikes and so we'll have to find something that we can do um but getting two sicilies in our customs union is nice uh we'll add a ton of construction now uh and also look for a decent sized war i think we'll go after new granada uh maybe for the panama canal it really seems kind of off the focus of up here but just every single one of these uh you know uh, if we're trying to dominion them or whatever, we get, like, uh, it looks like two GPs want to join against us, this sort of thing. You know, we can't go after, like, Luca or any of these guys, because Austria wants to join. Maybe we can try and fight that, but I just don't think there's a way to do it. And, you know, maybe if Austria has a ton of rivals, looks like it's just Prussia. Maybe we just have to try and fight this, and we just go after one of these small boyos. Uh, but we'll, we'll have to find, actually, a bigger war than this. This is too small, because we have no infamy. It, it, we don't want to get stuck in on a huge huge war um while we're not decaying infamy so it probably will be just kind of 
going after one of these. Maybe Argentina uh, slash the other one. Chile. Just Dominion these boyos. Yeah, this seems pretty good. Um, Great Britain is very unlikely to join against us. We'll just triple land them. Um, we should be able to get in. I think they have some states that have relatively high infrastructure. One thing that you have to be careful with with South America over here is the combat width. Uh, but it looks like with 28 infrastructure, uh, we should be able to like triple land them. And so get in on them while we are increasing all this construction and trying to have a big come up. Looks like Argentina has joined, which suits us just fine because we'll dominion them too and go for war reps on the lot of them. I think we will need a little bit more military. We'll need to ramp up a little bit in order to make this happen, but this seems like a very, very good war for us. Uh, you know, in terms of expanding our power base, these are generally two really good uh, subjects to pick up in terms of them being cheap on the infamy and they grow quite well. So uh, we also, of course, are plus 20k and are working on ramping up construction as quickly as we can. So this war is starting to turn out to be really tricky. Uh, you know, throughout this run, we've been making moves, making money moves, and I've completely forgotten how weak we actually are. We're just not very strong. And Argentina and, uh, you know, Chile are putting up a pretty stiff uh, interference. We've had to activate all the conscripts and we've recruited, um, you know, a lot more battalions. Um, we're going to recruit a little bit more. Uh, they still need to uh, land on us in order to enforce on us for war and war Roman war reparations, but they can land anywhere if they want and so we're hoping they just don't attempt a landing at this point because we are in bad shape uh if they do and so uh, this is how it goes uh we're probably going to ramp up the navy as well following this uh because these four uh like these four little navies of two and one uh just are not going to cut it anymore uh but hopefully we can you know make this one work at the very least all right we got pushed off and we really ended here definitely having quite a bit of a struggle getting in fully because the guy we need to get in is this 32 stack uh, but we are going to enforce on argentina eventually now it's important to note we are uh, on the argentinian capital here in buenos Aires. we're going to enforce on them first if we enforced on chile first if we focused chile first what would have happened is once chile capitulated there would have been no roman war reparations in here so we would have been allowed to decay below zero but here we'll just be stuck at zero and so we can keep on spending a long time in this war looking to make them enforce you know Argentina really wants out of this. They've been landed, they've been occupied, it's on their capital. They're probably going to capitulate here even though they're about to push us back off. And then we switch back and focus on the Peruvians. Yeah, you see it here, they're about to shunt us back off. But it doesn't matter, we should still be able to stick it in. So this is kind of the goal and this is how things are progressing here and we get an enforcement here in south africa or sorry south america um you know we enforced on them but then we enforce on them and man france wants us to join their customs union that's a little awkward we might actually want to stick into their customs union though the thing is is we want to do the italy stuff by you know expanding the customs union currently two sicilies is sitting in our customs union um this is a little bit intriguing we would have accepted if this was a while ago but i think we're going to just decline that there uh i don't think they were pulling in an obligation i suppose we should have checked uh the paper states thing isn't going necessarily too too well but we are subsidizing paper and exporting it but i think the big story of this run is this south america thing combined with getting on to proportional taxation to really crank up the construction uh we're going to be in good shape after this uh our infamy should actually be pretty low it's actually at zero uh so we'll be looking around for another big war next episode but i think we're going to conclude this episode next episode we might want to uh we really want to go after these guys. We're probably going to see if we can dominion any of these boyos um, in a way that kind of... Uh that we won't get interfered with uh in particular kind of waiting on before we could really consider fighting some of these big guys we do have to wait for general staff to eventually spread to us we don't want to actively research it but it is a very important tech we're currently actively researching quinine but yeah this episode you know, I had a bit of good fun in South America. This is going to help, uh, you know, us a lot with the diplomatic packs. This is cranked up quite a bit. And they are going to pay us out over time from the Dominion and not just the war reps. Um, you know, this is pretty substantive. We're going to look to subjugate a lot of other people. Um, and this is kind of going to be... We're, we're starting to delve into the run. Uh, we have been keeping an eye on, you know... 
uh, trying to get uh, agitators that allow us to go uh, state atheism, uh, but so far haven't been able to find them. Uh, in an another couple years, if we have a moderate, we'll expel him to try and create a new uh, agitator. But for now, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and or hit the notification button. And other than that, have a good day.